Hello everyone, and this is FC231. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first vid, my first official video. Uh, I've had problems where prior videos that I've had for some reason have been deleted, um, but that was my fault for giving away my password to people who I thought I trusted but no longer will that happen um, so yes this is my new channel my first official video password safe password locked and you will be accustomed to seeing my hands where I will bring you my collection of old toys that I have saved throughout my childhood years along with some new recent additions that I have acquired personally friends have given me most figurines as gifts and I've saved them so I will be showing you that and there will be a grading system the grading system will consist of one star meaning poor <laughs> two stars for fair three stars for good and four stars would be considered a masterpiece. So when I will be reviewing my collection, my toys, figurines, etc., I will be giving them a rating of either one star, two stars, three stars, or four stars. So stay tuned towards the end of the video for my overall rating of that figure toy slash collection etc so for my first video and for the theme it's going to be dinosaurs so it's going to be a collection of a small it's actually a small collection of dinosaurs that i have that i will be reviewing and showing you guys and i hope you enjoy so stay tuned okay guys so here is my first figurine that I will be presenting and this little guy is called a Scutosaurus Scutosaurus lived during the Permian period and if you don't know what the Permian period was the Permian period basically is or was 295 to 250 million years ago this little guy ate plants and ferns he was often called shield lizard and lived in floodplains marshes now he wasn't a dinosaur he was what was considered a para a para i'm not even know if i'm saying it right parasaur reptile pariasaur reptile so he wasn't a dinosaur he was a reptile and back in the Permian period, he was eight feet long. So this little guy I acquired at a local dinosaur shop. He was under $5, very cheap. But the amount of detail on this little figurine is incredible. I mean, 
his overall color scheme is brown and the top is pretty much like sandpaper it's like these hard pebbles hard rock like little pebbles that was used for the fence as well as two spikes underneath his lower jaw and one little spike on top right above his nostrils once these reptiles entered adulthood the third spike would be more visible it'll start growing to that size there and he also had these flanges on the side here possibly for defense as well you can see it sticking out you can see those flanges even when I turn them upside down two flanges there sticking out there it's pretty cool I mean he has he has like this light brown you can see that streaks on top the paintwork is really it's really superb I like it they did a good job on this figure this figure is from Safari and was released way back in 2008 and the Scutosaurus I don't know about you guys but he kind of reminds me of that star that Star Wars creature from Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones I think it was called a reek remember in the Geonosian the Geonosian battle where Anakin rides on top of that four-legged beast freeze Obi-Wan, Padme, and then the whole Clone War battle began. Well, he kind of looks like that. Maybe someone at Lucas Arts or Lucas Films or Lucas Productions was inspired by the Scoot Scootosaurus and pretty much came up with a similar creature like, like the Scootosaurus here. Here's a close-up of his head pretty peaceful looking guy and a view from the other side and he's not that big actually Scootosaurus just measures about three and a half inches long so now what I'm going to normally do with my review on figurines is give you guys a 360 look Alright, so overall, the Scutosaurus, I'm going to give him, or her, a 3 star rating. I would have given it a masterpiece rating, but I just feel like he's just small. They made him too small. Um... I feel like they could have probably made him a bit bigger. But three stars, I mean, 
excellent paint work, excellent paint scheme on him. Uh, very detailed. Uh, even from his toes to the bottom. So, yeah. Overall, three stars.